Good morning, everybody. Today, we're going to look at assertiveness. In other words, learning how to speak up and speak out. So this bite-sized video is for you if you're a young person or a young person caring for others. This 10 minute video is all about you and will provide you with a range of tips and techniques to speak up and to speak out. So let's get started. What I'd like you to do is take just a minute out to think about something positive, something that made you smile, something that made you laugh, or something that made you feel happy. It doesn't need to be something big. It might be something small, such as watching a funny film or catching up with a friend. So just take a moment out and think of something positive. So how did you get on? Some of you have made, may have found it easy to think of something positive. Perhaps you recalled having a nice chat with a friend, walking the dog or watching a funny movie. But some of you may have found it more difficult. But don't worry, because what we can do is train our brains to recall the positive, And this in turn can make us feel more positive. So how does that link with assertiveness? Well, assertive people think more positively. So what does it mean to be assertive? Simply put, assertiveness means speaking up and speaking out. It's about standing up for ourselves and saying what we want to say, when we want to, when we feel we need to. So one of the questions might be, what will we gain by being more assertive and speaking out? Well, we might gain more confidence, which in turn can increase our happiness. It can increase our wealth, our success, and perhaps respect from others. So there's lots of gains to becoming more assertive. So if assertiveness is just simply speaking out, why don't we speak out when we want to? So the question is, why aren't we all assertive? Well, there are a number of reasons. It could be our life experiences. It could be our upbringing within our family. Maybe we experienced some bullying in our younger years. Or perhaps we've been going through a difficult time of change or loss. Sometimes illness, physical illness or mental health illness leads us to become more passive rather than assertive. Well, the good news is that assertiveness or speaking up when speaking out is quite a simple but powerful set of skills which can easily be learned. So don't forget you can choose how you respond in any given situation. So let's look at three different communication styles. Again, remembering that we can choose which style we want to. So the first style that we're going to look at is aggressive communication. So aggressive communication, this is where the person takes what they believe as rights for themselves at the expense of others. So how might we recognize those aggressive behaviors? Maybe the person is a bully, maybe they're malicious, maybe they stare at you, maybe they point, maybe they're loud, shout a lot, threaten you, tease you, make you do things that you don't want to do. Those are all aggressive behaviors. Aggressive people get that what they want at the expense of you. The next communication style to look at is passive communication. And the passive communicator gives away their own rights to the other person at the expense of themselves. So let's take a look at how the passive person communicates and behaves. The passive person is shy, they're timid, they avoid eye contact, they apologize a lot, so they say sorry. Their voice is very quiet, so you can't hear them. Their passiveness shows in their body language. Their head is down, they maybe have hunched shoulders. They say yes a lot when they want to say no. They lack confidence, they find it difficult to make decisions, and they often feel resentful and often feel like a victim. So let's look at assertive communication and assertive behavior. The assertive person values their rights as well as the other person's rights. So they balance their rights with the rights of the other person. And in terms of the assertive communicator, they communicate in a confident way, 
They have a clear voice. They speak out. They only say yes to the things that they want to say yes to, and they're quite happy to say no. They come across as happy, relaxed, and they're quite goal focused. They make decisions, they're respectful to others, they're honest, and they express their emotions. Their posture is upright and they give good eye contact. So having looked at the three communication styles, we're now going to look at some of the skills that give you the confidence to speak out. So we're going to look at a number of skills of assertion. We're going to look at knowing your assertive rights, knowing your strengths, the importance of keeping calm, asking for help, being able to say no, and use I messages. And another important skill, the broken record. We mentioned rights and assertive people not only know their rights, they exercise their rights. So let's take a look at our rights. Assertive people know that they've got the right to make mistakes. Assertive people know that they're not responsible for the actions of others. Assertive people know that they have the right to be treated with respect. They also know that they've got the right to say no without feeling guilty. And they've also got the right to change their mind. So it can be helpful to remember our assertive rights, especially when we want to speak out to others. Just remind yourself that you have the right to do that. Assertive people are also aware of the things that they're good at. And by remembering the skills that they're good at, it gives them the confidence when they need it. So let's take a minute out to think about the things that you're good at. What are your top three strengths? What are your top 10 strengths? So how did you get on? If you found it difficult, perhaps ask a friend or someone you know to give you feedback about your strengths. And then again, remember those strengths. Having looked at your strengths, let's take it a step further. I'd like you to think about something now that you're very good at. So take a moment out, think about something that you're very good at. So what did you come up with? Maybe it was about you're very creative, or maybe it's you're very sporty, or maybe it's you're a really good listener. And knowing what we're good at and very good at it's not, about, it's not about having a big ego or being big headed. It's about knowing yourself and assertive people know what they're good at. So when we're planning those conversations where we want to speak out and speak up, the first thing to do is to keep calm. Maybe that's about taking some time out. Maybe it's about taking some deep breaths. But it's about taking control of what you want to say and what you want to do and when. Sometimes speaking out is about asking for help when we need it. And we shouldn't see asking help as a weakness. It's actually a strength. So take a minute out to think about what are those areas in your life where you'd like some help? Perhaps it's information and advice. Perhaps it's about a particular piece of homework or your career. Perhaps it's more difficult around managing emotions or perhaps it's simply help with some of the chores that are required of you. So think about those and prioritize what are the areas that you can ask help for. Speaking out is also about saying no when we want to. Passive people say yes to a lot of things that they don't really want to do. So when saying no, rather than apologizing by saying something along the lines of, I'd love to, however, but, just simply say no. So a piece of homework for you is to recognize those opportunities for saying no. So maybe your habit is to say yes, but stop yourself and say no. But of course there are different ways of saying no. It could be that you simply say, no, thank you. I have another um, opportunity. Or perhaps it's Unfortunately, now is not a good time. I'd love to, but I can't. No, thank you. I won't be able to make it. I'm busy on this occasion. So have a think about the phrases that work for you, the phrases that you feel comfortable with 
by saying no. Sometimes when we're upset or angry with someone, we tend to use the word you, you always, you never, you must. But actually that word you is quite confrontational. And what it's likely to result in is defense from the other person. So the assertive person finds that using the word I can take the heat out of the situation. And we can couple that with the word feel. So I feel upset when you ask me to do that. I feel taken advantage of when you ask me to do that. I feel upset when you say things like that to me. So those I messages are far less confrontational. So take a minute out just to think about what would you like to say to somebody who is affecting you? But don't forget to replace the you with the I. And a piece of homework for you, if you wish, is to practice those I messages. They maybe don't come naturally, but if you stop and think, you can plan to replace the you with I. Another very effective skill for being assertive, speaking up and speaking out, is something called the broken record technique. And the broken record technique is a way of communicating in a very firm but clear way. It conveys a message that you mean what you say. It tends to work in situations where people want to argue with you or perhaps when they don't want to listen to you. So by using the broken record technique, it allows you to stay focused. It allows you to become prepared and it allows you to stay in control. So let's look at an example of the broken record technique. I would like to let you know my thoughts. If I can stop you, it's because I'd like to share my thoughts. I understand what you're saying, but I want to share my thoughts. So in this example, somebody is trying to distract you or maybe trying to avoid listening to you, but you simply repeat your message, which is, I'd like to share my thoughts. Can I stop you? I'd just like to share my thoughts. And what happens when you use the broken record technique is eventually the person will stop in their tracks and they will listen to you. So the broken record technique, again, it's a skill that you can practice at home if you wish. Thank you for watching our short video on assertiveness, speaking up, speaking out, and we hope that you found it useful. But do watch out for our other short videos to support you as a young person or a young carer. Thank you.